what I live here in Amplify gives back to the community is invaluable. I mean, we never have had anything like this. I think it's just put a focus on nonprofits, at least for one day. 7.7 .7 million, it, it's just such a big number. I've always loved living in Austin, but this because of these kinds of things. We have these things that bring the city together. We have, you know, ACL, we have South by Southwest, and now we have Amplify Austin. I mean, we had over 150 watch parties this year. Everything was just so exciting and all the excitement buzzing in the air, people dropping by. It was so great to see everyone. I think this creates a completely different platform that we've never had before. And a different conversation that changes and I think it really gives people an opportunity to think about the community in a different way. We're asking them for $10, $25, $100, whatever they feel comfortable with. It just gives people that inspiration of, oh, I can finish that person's fundraising goal out with just 50 bucks, like I'll give another $50. And I think that piece of it, the gamification of it is just, it, it's inspiring for people. I love the friendly competition engendered by Amplify Austin. It's a good thing for us all to think about the, the creative ways that we can challenge one another. The leaderboard is addictive. I watch very closely the top 10 nonprofits. And it's just, hey, this is our opportunity. Let's get excited. We're gonna help the kids. We're gonna raise money. And by the way, it's gonna be matched. So that's, that's really been the selling point for everybody. For each of the past three years, St. David's Foundation has applied match funding for Amplify Austin. And the reason we're doing that is we recognize that there's no other event that brings a focus and attention to the nonprofit community in Central Texas as during this 24-hour period. This year we had Boys and Girls Club officially break the Amplify Austin record of most donations raised. They're at over $400,000 for 2015, which is amazing. That, that is truly um, a blessing. It's not, it's not a corporate thing necessarily. It's not a, a, a business driven. It's, it is really the grassroots, nonprofits, community needs being met by community people. It's, it's really great to see like a community come together on anything, but when it's part of philanthropy, um, it, it's so significant to the well-being of our community and all the people in it that, you know, it was, not only is it fun to, you know, be involved in something that's so exciting, um, but it's also, you know, it's, it's very worthwhile and there's, it's, it allowed little tiny nonprofits, medium sized nonprofits and very large nonprofits to come together um, for a common cause. The fact that the little organizations can be as enthusiastic about their $5,000 as the big organization with their $400,000. It just gives you an in inspiration and incentive to do better. You know, that's what really is uh, the persona of Austin. It's a community of people coming together to have a good time while they're doing something spectacular and cool. Oh!